Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror. Uh, last time a little bit disappointing with the ending of the route or run I guess I should say. Um, it's just unfortunate that it happens again. Um, I don't know if it's a feature or not. I, I don't like how the save works if it is a feature because it feels like there's no point of saving. But despite all the problems we had and the unsatisfying ending, I still want to give the game a couple runs just because I was enjoying myself while it was going smoothly. And I think there's a lot of stuff we can experience or and re-experience since it's not all uh, new. So I'm going to play a couple runs. We're just going to have to... Uh, do the run in one sitting which is a lot though i can just like mute the game and leave it in the background or something for a while so there's options it's a it's a weekend night though so i can definitely do a run i think um but yeah cam position should be the same new story we stood with two bit and last time we did the default color so this time we're going a little red. Ooh, I like two bit. I think. Wait. Wait. Oh, it's different color. And this is different colors for the bits. I don't know. Whatever. I like the red tone. We'll do quick play. So this is random. Though I am interested. Okay, let's do this real fast just to see if we were actually glitched <coughs> ignore that i just want to see if there's always four mysteries and we just screwed it up by press pressing uh the thing yeah it looks like there's always four tackle these five mysteries in any order you want uh that's a lie there's only four. Oh wait no there's five so why did the other one only have four Hey, you can reroll mysteries. <laughs> Anyways, it's not what we want. Uh, okay, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do this. Uh, let's just go random. I think. Feel like random is the fun way to play. This mode, like you get like cracked stats and stuff. Ooh, dude, I like the red undertone. It looks pretty good. Okay, we'll, we'll go red. We'll do quick play. So, random character. Random old god. Random background and more. City of Shotawa. Yes, this is the same intro. Basically, bad shit's happening. Because of how the world's been going. Old gods are awakening. And it's our time to stop. The eternal web. Chitat Atorasu is once again awakened from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls to its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Rule, you can't escape from combat encounters. We still got the world of horror backstory. Um, character exclusive perk cards only. See, this guy was cracked in the back a couple years ago when we played just because you couldn't escape ghost fights. And ghost fights were like an instant lose. If you can't damage them, so it's a little scary. It's not my first time playing. So let's go home. Okay, new character just dropped. Safety and numbers. Is that perk? Your status. What is this? Safety and numbers. Oh, it is a status. Oh, and we have a character with us. Interesting. Status personal. Why did you sign that contract? Plus one max reason. At the end of a mystery, if you don't have at least two followers, you lose two reason. Okay, so we need another follow. Okay, so you need to keep characters. Interesting. He's looking for you. And But luckily, we actually start with an ally called Yoishi. Double available funds. Let go. Oh. If you let him go. Or does he give us double funds? Talk, let go. Oh, if you let go, he gives you double funds. But we need him to... Or we lose to reason. But double funds is actually kind of lit. Talk. Yochi smiles faintly. 
It's kind of weird a salary man's following us, but maybe he's a good guy. So who are we? so we got no items though. It's just the reason bonus, which is honestly kind of lit. And the status. Okay, there's a seed if you want to play. I don't know how the seed works. There's spider boss. Options. Don't care. We should be good to go. So yeah, this might be a long video or we might split it up. But it's gonna be a one session for me, so. Like the look though? Like the look? No TV? Oh, there's the TV. The TV host is gutting a big octopus, at least that's what she claims because there are too many tentacles. Uh, did meme. Check the peephole. Ah, uh, little creeper. Probably just my imagination. Bath. Bath for XP. I guess. Cus don't even click custom mysteries, man. Oh, different animation. The shower will help you calm down and wonder. And do wonders on your sore muscles what temperature do you set it on? We'll go for the XP boost because we're max already. No potion bottle yet. It's only 5 XP. It's not nothing, but it's not much. So let's see what mysteries we have. Tackle 5. So we have 5. Plus this. So was there only 4 in the beginning? And you just need 4 to beat the game? That's weird. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> no point of re-rolling, I think. So we have Household Hell again. We did that last time. This is new. Bizarre Brute of the Blood Curdling Botanist. Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. I think this is... You can get a Fire Axe from here. Here's our stats, by the way. Way lower stats. But we have Charisma to get uh, people on our side. Freaky Feature of Found Footage. And Rotten Report of Rancid Ramen. Looks pretty good. Let's do... Ramen? I know what that is. I'm just gonna go ramen. Investigate this mystery. Rotten report of rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It is adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. Bro, there's literally a finger in the ramen. Open your eyes. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human feet? Human feet? Human meat? <laughs> Flesh of the gods himself? Okay. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach turn. Just start two item cards to complete this quest. Uh, it's a little awkward. Let's head to... S we have four funds, but I don't really want to spend the funds yet. We want to min-match that, right? Though we do want an item. Let's let's try schoolyard. Um, observe. Haru waves at you. They seem relaxed. Ask to join. I will help you. Student C. Harui. That's plus plus one. It's nice. How about you? Dio or Doi. Uh. Wait, does this give us plus five or do we spend five? It's just a story, right? Oh, did I ruin it? Did I, wait, did I spend XP? I did. Okay. Sounds strange, but I believe you. Plus one reasoning, plus one stamina. It's pretty good. Wait, let go or just stay? Yeah, just pass it. We're at max, but... Okay, that's actually kind of awkward then. I don't know. Come with me. Give me a break. I just think I, I can yoink you now. Get out of here. Eight funds. I will help you. Yeah, okay. Plus one luck. 
Dude, I, our squad's pretty good. I think student B's kind of useless, but the other two are good. Alright. Nice. Charisma build. Interesting. <laughs> now we can spend our money. So I want a weapon. And so let's shop for items. Doggy items. Sewing kit. Flashlight's decent. Perception up. State knife is, is a good death weapon for sure. Camera or energy drink. Uh, we can only buy, can we buy all, everything? Since we have some deaths already, I'm gonna go steak knife for now. Oh wait, you can only get one at a time. Okay, well, let's equip it. Good weapons, good. Go here, backpack. Allows it two additional inventory slots for this. Salt, camera, compass. Compass is good, man. Compass is the auto build. More levels. And it's not stuff since we're playing through the whole thing. And we'll do one more. Just spend our money, dude. Salt, sewing kit. Sewing kit's interesting. I guess it's only flashlight. It's kind of our build we were using before, but less stats. I'll take it though for now. Okay, let's do this for now. Hopefully we'll find items we can discard. Otherwise we can buy items, but yeah. Uh, investigate apartments. Neighbor. What's this again? Knock on your door, friend's door, and wait. Hey, I'm really busy today. Let's hang out at some other time. I think you can recruit her for free sometimes, maybe. If I remember right. Dude, look at this squad. Oh, well. You wonder what kind of animal the spiders caught in the sweat. You scare away the annoyed predator and rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Do some reasoning, but gain a patina ring. Matt stamina, but you get one more death. Huh. Is that better than perception and just get eight deaths? We're low on stamina though. But like, who cares? It's good offensively. I'll leave it for now though. You can see the restaurant through the staircase window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Interesting. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior. The day of reckoning is coming, said the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? Listen. Oh. We lose doom, but... And lose reason. Actually, doom's good, though. You learn some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said is the truth, humanity is doomed. It's kind of a bad trade-off, but like, it's not the end of the world, I think. Okay. The only true way to investigate the restaurant is to get into the restaurant yourself. Okay. True. Wandering through the empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas in it, but you can really use it to buy a drink. Most expensive. Or cheapest, so we can throw it away. Oh, that's chat sets. You buy a can of off brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyways. Free XP? That's chat saved by our, our teammate, to be honest. It seems that you were not the only one trying to try, your, wanting to try yourself. You stand in the line for hours. Your question falls on deaf ears and you're shunned. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask for Tuan, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address backpack lying nearby. I'll take her home. Ooh. We lose stamina. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you she can take it from here. Plus 10 XP. 
Uh, well, that sounds... Might have screwed the mother over, but I'll take the XP. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease rot and... Is that blood you can smell? Wish I got a new item, but... Whatever. Um... Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore his throat. Steal his gun. You need to buy bullets. But guns do a lot. Though I think you need perception. Check his wound for clues. Do I want his gun? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I lose reason. Oh, man, our reasoning so stuffed. Won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing from a corpse. Look at that. Speed 80. Chance to hit 80. Damage when shot 9. I guess we can actually just eat it. You wouldn't want to know where a bo where You wouldn't know where to find a buyer for it. It's funny. You do need ammo, if I remember correctly. I don't know where you buy it. We might just eat it for this. It's finally your church owner. The owner grin widens. I'm just gonna eat it. I think I kind of like our build. It was working for us last time, so for now we'll keep it, and we'll just level up stuff. So discard, discard. You sit into the alley at the dead of night, daily, and you look inside the restaurant waste. It's a vial pump, a few chunks of meat, with promising samples though. Okay, smelly meat. A rancid meat of an unknown source. Inspect. Disgusting. Smells horrible. Okay. Nice trinket. Can equip it. It's finally your chance to order. Let's order them. Send me. Something is wrong. You don't see anyone on the street. You could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Dude, my reasoning is destroyed. The red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded, you're forced to sit on sit on the floor. Jesus. Have we done a good event, by the way? I feel like we've been bricking. When you enter a metro car, you notice an ollie shaped package to the seat. Alright, examine. Oh, that's check fail. We did it before. It's not until you've unwrapped it that you can understand what it is. Shot, you let it fall back to the floor from your bloodied hands. Uh, we're in a bad time. With a sit slit hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. Investigate lab. Lab results. With pulling some of the delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? I mean, we spent our items to get the meat. We might as well uh, add it. Labratus 4, you look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, so that's the other ending, adding drops of human blood reveals something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the papers muttering an excuse and preparing to flee to, to the town, f to flee town on the next train. So it's alive, Ramen. I was not expecting that. What the heck? Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no eldritch horror to duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entr at entrance. Okay. So we got our 30 XP. Thorough for completing the side quest. Doom down. Stamina. Reason up. Day passes out. Good. Good. Dangerous bands of riders are gathering around downtown. The police are hopeless. Okay. So it adds a new mob to uh, downtown. Oh, there's bullets up here. Is that where our ammo is? Mega Merc. <laughs> we didn't check the wardrobe, actually. We stand before a mirror wondering which outfit to wear. That's a nice movie poster. I don't know if that's a reference or not. Looking good. Aspiring Idol, that's what we're wearing. 
rebel outfit looks pretty good. Yes, snow star. We'll change it up if we get it next time. <laughs> like the shirt though. Classic. Don't see anything weird. Local dentists have found been found guilty of implanting dog teeth to their human patients. Motive is currently unknown. That's horrifying, dude. Uh, bath time. Definitely go for reason, man. We're crazy if we want to go for XP. <laughs> There's no reason. Feeling a little better. I kind of want to dump one of our allies, though. And go for someone new instead of her. I think this is like an immediate boost, which was just a waste, so. Sorry, Doi. Hot. Doi looks at you waiting. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Starting a mystery. Alright, one down. Where'd the twinkling thing go? Oh well. Freaky found footage. Macabre, mer mermaids. I remember this. You get a fire axe, but that's strength build. But now that we have at least a knife, I feel comfortable enough to do it, so. Plus there's five endings, so. You can get a lot here. Macabre memoir of mer mer morbid mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He decided to take it's time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. There's one thing everybody was talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate downtown nets. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. Let's go to the schoolyard. I don't want to learn spells. Spells are for pussies. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I just never did it. I guess it's nighttime. Or do I wait? Okay, well. That was a waste. Uh, I want to do hardware store. Strength. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Never know when you can need some a little bit of acid. <laughs> so let's do the seaside twice for the bonus. The investigation is taking its toll on you, so f plus four doom. Not very good for us. But that's okay. Plus one reason? That's good for us. The waves lazily wash on the shore. You take a deep breath, the fresh air clears your head. You must be going crazy, but you can hear someone then watching you from the sea. Okay, so net net, net zero. It's fine. Oh, that was from completing the side quest. Okay. Well, we'll get a bonus XP thing for beating the mystery, so I guess it's worth. It's just a net net. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work. Obsessed man. He does stamina damage. Lots of power. I think, yeah, 40% chance to hit. So... Here's the thing, we kind of want to yeet one of our allies, so distracting him. Is probably worth. Oh, but it's random. Random. It's nice. Our guts isn't that good, though. Oh my god, it takes so much time. This is stuck. I'm gonna go for the distract then. Hopefully it works. Someone might be dead though. <laughs> and then just go... Wait, no, that's dodge. We'll go dodge now. Okay. Nope, one of my friends died. Student D died. <laughs> Who's student D? Oh, that was luck. Wasn't even doy. We did dodge. Oh wait, no, he tipped us. God damn it. Okay, dodge now. K. 
can't even double hit. We can just get a guaranteed one hit. Guess we have to. He roars in rage, and that hits us. At least we didn't lose our death booster. No, 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 don't distract. I think this is our best path forward. Dude, he's hitting us. What the fuck? Okay, can we kill him? 5 HP? This only does 4. But we can kill him. Okay. Level up. Decent. We took a fucking beating though, so I'm not too happy about that. Uh, let's see what we can get from level. Could have canned him. Kind of forgot, <laughs> to be honest. So we have fame. Faster combat actions for each ally you have. That's so good. Cut send small XP bonus for casting spells. Rare perception. We'll do fame. Fame and let's build our deaths up. I think it's good. This doesn't take a spot though, right? But that's good. That's good for this character. Might even call it Biss. Alright, asking around the neighborhood got you some results. It seems all the girls have attended the same school. We are low on health though, so... Hopefully we can get some of that. Hearing an eerie sound come from behind... The door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Kurata something something. Pick up book, lights the candles, study the blackboard. Right in. Uh, light me. Ah. Oh. The moment you light the remaining candles, the ground... Under the scissor collapses, revealing an impossibly deep hole. Its walls are carved into a spiral shape, giving it an illusion of movement. 20 XP. That's not worth, man. Our reason is so low right now. I think we need to rest. Like, really bad. 2 plus stamina reason. We get doom. It has to be worth, man. Just one rest. I'm kind of down for two, but we don't want to push our doom. All the missing girls were apparently s members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Okay. Oh, it's two bullets from the gun. I'm learning. As into the school gym, you notice. Oh, we don't have autonomy, so we lose reason. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, we got this before. This is bad, man. You find a notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club itself and mermaids? Travel to Murbit School. I think the guy does. Oh my god. A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has started rotting fishes. Fish guts everywhere and hunt up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth and slow as you slowly retreat. A vast stack of cedos outside viciously attack the windows. Oh, we're we're on the edge. Whoever the kid neighbor may be, they seem to be really obsessed about mermaids. Inside the sense lab, you found a plan of the town sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading to the sea directly from the school building. Okay. Wow. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while she is waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her these days she's moderating a web form dedicated to the paranormal maybe she knows something useful copy me minus funds plus seven at speed could this be the reason for the horrific events i didn't even have funds it's free there's something wrong here weird apathy seems to infect every adult you ask for help you have to deal with it alone well might as well the only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you got a feeling something is wrong. Where are the people? I'll just walk. Doom. 
Honestly, we need a rest. I know it's Tate's Doom, but like We need we need we need health, man. I need health. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's it's high doom, but we need to, we need to. You compare the store plan with the straw map and it suddenly dawns on you. The straw basement, that must be the place where the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered with a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. No tiny key, check plots and trophies. Let's check failure. You find a small trophy with a curious plaque. Grand champion of cannibal eating contest, 1950 sits. God damn it, dude. My fuck. <laughs> so many bad reasoning rolls. It's crazy. There's no turning back, God. Let's hope she's alright. Scroll basement. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The la latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress. The upper part, at least. The tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died. You hear the mad janitor just say, he lifts up a, you up you up and down maybe you'll do not giving up after a previous failure the obsessed janitor has found another body to experiment on you stamina damage okay doesn't have crazy dodge this time and our actions are slower so let's go let's do this four three no. We can go two attacks. Or we can prep a big attack. But, mm, I like two attacks. Just get a little crazy. Okay, nice dodge. Nice dodge. We'll just. He's not Eldritch, he's just human. Unless he is Eldritch. I mean, might as well. Uh, our stamina is fine. I think we're fine, honestly. I think we just have to huddle here. And hope for the best. Feels a waste. You can't do anything else, but. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. What is this? Something like that? Oh, well, he hit us. Okay, wait, that's kind of lit, actually. You can do like two, one, one, one. So it's a 90 and an 80. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Yeah, we got this. He's so tanky. And you can get the axe from this fight, which is a crack strength weapon, but we're doing death build, so. We'll have to go strength build next time if we can, though, because this is our second run death build. But, like, this is, like, a real run. The last one was stuffed. He did hit us, because we're not as cracked as last time, but. That's okay. Oh my god, we're dying by the way. It's okay, we're committed. We're just beat up. It's just our fate, man. Don't fight it. We missed one, dodged one. Okay. This is easy, right? Fifteen XP. Good. The mad janitor body slumps to the floor. You pick up his hat and, using it as a crutch, you try to leave the room injured and weakened. You slowly lose consciousness on the stroke corridor. As you can see, it's a fat strength weapon, but can't use it. We could get two funds, though. Maybe after. Take it. Ending A. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the mad janitor is found, but you will sleep a little better tonight, knowing that other students are safe. 
Okay, new old artifact. Windsor played. Weird epidemics keep staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Okay, treatment and surgery that actions cost more. I don't think hospitals actually heal health though. From what I remember. New level though. New hope. Knowledge outdoorsman. Plus one luck. Plus one knowledge. Plus one perception. Hmm. Maybe boost our knowledge and just do that to them for better combat ability. Home, pick up the key. This just makes me sad about, I mean, I could say sad about the first run, but we were kind of cracked with our build and you get like really good stats, so maybe not. Uh, TV, yes, octopus, same thing, peep me. Everyone's chilling. Bath me. Definitely. Oh, we're both pretty low, actually. Still no reason, I think. Um. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else to do. So. Freaky found footage. Bizarre brute. I don't even know what that is. I think that's a new one. Well, I didn't even count our ending we got from this last time. Well, let's go this one since it's not combat oriented. And maybe we want to heal before we need to fight. There are many old mansions around this town. The zero zero, triple zero manor is one of them supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But it, is it the only tragic place that took here? So we got an ending here before, but it didn't save, so... Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. It's interesting because if we skip this, it might be worth skipping the side quests if it takes time to investigate. Just to, um... Just to save Dune. I kind of want... Oh, we have zero funds. I'm going to sell this. And try to buy... Something for two funds. Sewing kit. Three stam for one minus one charisma. Cigarette. One reason. Discount item. YOLO. Let's do this. Let's use it. Inspect. Shouldn't you ask the doctor to do it? Nope. We lose charisma. That's fine. We had high charisma. Save us some stam a bit. It's nice. I think. Friends, you've taught... Anyways, I don't want to spend too much Doom, because 100% Doom is an insta loss, so... We'll huddle on the side quest for now, and just get a different ending. Friends you talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. Alright, school me. Oh, okay. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biological biology classroom inside is an old autonomy an anatomy model it's heart is beating the side almost makes you sick two it was only one was it from the perk I actually was it what was the perk for old god it's town status ah oh, no dude okay Near the cliffs. We read this already. Copy the mansion's photo to the newspaper and prepare to leave. Mr. Yokoyama, the new manager, corners you. The previous one mysteriously disappeared a few months ago. My dearest Mizuki, long time no see. His best students have brought in me. Our parent company in Tokyo desperately needs new materials, something thrilling and exciting, he smiles. New blood. Photoshoot me. Yes, yes, I can arrange that, Mr. Yoko smiles. I'm sure the boss will find that satisfactory. 5% doom? Oh man, not looking good. <laughs> Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find one. You will need strong rope. Okay. Scene 
two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Uh, call the police. Charisma check success. The nearest at the nearest Koba, and you tell the officer about the gruesome discovery. The old policeman is grateful and gives you a small reward. Take a little funds. Comparing different mansions, you finally find one. There's only a problem. You need strong rope. Still. I'm going for disc. Ah, oh, our doom is so high though. We need a hado, I think. Hey, this kind of fits our seaside anyways. Summer, a whole class fell. In the summer of 1971, a whole class trip fell into the sea when a rock. They were standing on collapse. They didn't find the bodies until now. Oh god, what is this? What am I looking at? <laughs> it's arms on a body. Alright, let's just go classic. Dodge me. Prep, prep. Hit. Ooh, it does all damage. That's fucking scary, dude. Oh, wait, we can prep harder. Nice. 90, so we should hit. The enemy seems to be weak to this type of damage, plus damage. It's literally doing the same amount, though. <laughs> huh? Or was it doing four? Anyways, we dodge. Dodging is really important because this does reason damage also. Let's do this. Okay. Missed, but she missed too. Can we kill? Uh, maybe. We need to hit all of this. Okay, let's try. I missed. That's really bad. It was the gamble. We didn't make it, man. That sucks. Can we get some luck sometimes? <laughs> oh, well. You make it through the window. This is the Vandy Mansion Prince. Talk about let's explore it. Okay, well. Whatever. The message can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Yes. Thank you. You heard a weird noise coming from a lot study. You must find the key. Okay. Room. Uh, Dan, you were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Oh, God. Reason damage. High power, so it's hard to hit. That's scary, man. Yeah, 60. We still go for... I mean, 80 is still good, man. It's low health. Oh, I'm not going for that. Let's just play safe and go for a dodge, man. Kill it next turn. Yikes. It hit us with the dodge. That's unfortunate. We can kill the... There we go. Hey, what's that? Black hair. Combined with sewing kit. Well, I so I use my sewing kit, man. Oh man, new tech, but we can't even use it. Feeling like you are on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey, kiddo, says the priest, who's currently moving some bosses in the church. Would you let? Would you let me a hand? Don't overwork yourself. There you go. You only pick up the smallest boxes, but the whole thing takes more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a hot cup of tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxieties. We need the reason, man. Screw the doom. Manor. It looks like one of the previous owners of the mansion like to read dusty tomes or ceilings. Maybe you should... Maybe you should spare some time to look through the books. We need a table. Knowledge check failure plus doom, man. Ah! <laughs> it's so stuffed, this run. 
you enter the art workshop, the room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks holding onto the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. No, it's a combat encounter. The head of the sculpture looks so lifelike. You move closer to raise your hand nervously. To touch it, it falls off. Oh, no, no, no. A headless person stumbles out of the scripting classroom and it reaches for your head. It has no... Okay, we don't even... Okay, okay. At least it's easy to hit. Now we just gotta pray. Three attacks for nine, or we can do seven. Obviously nine. Nice dodge. We need we need to hit these dodges, man. It's really important. Just burst this guy. Okay, good. Nice. Easy. Easy fight. Okay. Okay, okay. We're we're alive somehow. You feel watched. Retreat. You retreat from the room. Well, there goes the reasoning. Great. The whole building begins to shake as you enter this run room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts from the floor where you just stood a second ago. You notice some arcane symbols painted on the stone. You take a step closer. Touch me. That sturdy chat success when your finger touches the stone, the symbols disappear. That's a good thing, maybe, right? Give me a level up, man. Maybe it can save us somehow. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Locations, threat level increased. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh my god, so many fights this time. With a non-combat oriented character, kind of. Suddenly a wall in front of you withers and falls apart, revealing a whole ridden monstrosity. Whole ridden thing. Reason damage. For high power. It's looking bad, guys. <laughs> well, let's just try our best. I... I think going for the 80 shots are better. Well, it hit us. The whole ridden thing strikes you. Smirch a little, you think. Hmm. I missed? Oh my god, dude, dodge! Dodge. I, can you dodge a smirk? Is there just some attacks you can't dodge? 15. I'm gonna go crazy and like read about what this guy does. Just so we know for the future. Actually, I don't know. Assess the situation. Learn about your enemy. Yeah, why not? You're probably dead, anyways. I died. No, I lived. I dodged. Lost detective, monster mayo, weak against blunt. No special skills. Once a detective investigating a missing person states, now he's slowly turning into a monster, seeking through those who have found the cursed jade statuette. Oh, dude, that's actually a reference to Ito Junji. Remember? It was a, it was a, it was a story. I kind of remember it now, and it made you like whole full of holes with this little jade statue like they're saying i totally forgot about that honestly forgot which book it's in i have it somewhere <laughs> anyways uh still looking bad but maybe we can at least we know we can dodge so do we go for the kill or it's too risky i'm gonna pray for dodging Suddenly stops. Is it like charging something? We can kill it though. You fool. Bye bye. 11 XP. Also bad RNG here. It's taking us all rooms, which is using a lot of our time. Uh, Outdoorsman. Luck. That's 
funds. We'll go that. And get some reasoning for the level. <laughs> Just so we can live. Okay, it's good, but our doom is so fucked, man. Our doom is screwed. Finally, study room. You aren't sure what to expect, but the study door opens. Uh, yeah. Make your way down. Underground water chamber. This is what we did last time. I'm just trying to do it. This is the ending we got last time. Give me the doom minus. Give me the heal. Give me the XP. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're just holding on somehow. The whole world stopped receiving any outside signal. That's fine. Cut out from the world. We'll live. Take the key. Two more mysteries left, guys. Can we make it? We're literally on the edge, so. I don't know, man. TV should be off. Yeah. Hot bath. We'll go for. We're both kind of even, but. Just no reason. Uh, mystery. Two left. Let's do freaky found footage. Why not? Uh, with a doom's bad man though. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary all about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he and what did the students discover out there? Interesting. Investigate the mansion twice to do this. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school new newspaper? Okay. Hearing the footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon mask is giggling as she's getting closer. Four stamina damage? Are you crazy? She's a fucking monster, man. Literally. We can't insta kill because our weapon's not like that. Low power, though. Actually. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's it charges? It charges its strikes? Okay, so we got this, so might as well take this time to learn. And then kill you. Wait, oh, I lost. I didn't actually get to see what it was. Set set speed. Oh, we got a steak knife. I don't really need it, but I can always sell it later. Weird red stains. The sharpened edge can slice through the toughest cuts of me. You can only hope that the red stains are from the steak. We got to look at this. A lock of human hair. Can't look at that, eh? Okay. The notes mention a village not far from your town. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What's happened? What happened here? Yeah, we, we can't spend the doom. Can't be thorough on this quest, sadly. The road seems to twist and turn when you're not looking trapped you in this neighborhood. Get lost. Doom up. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Everyone in the village is unsettling, unsettlingly friendly. An old farmer points you to an old stone. The missing group supposedly started their first trip there. <laughs> okay. Lavish dinner. A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late, but you can't stay for long. But the host asks you if you want to take anything home with you. Uh, steak is probably stamina. I knew you liked it. Your friend says, winking and packaging the item for you. Long pig states. Two stamina adds a new status. It smells incredible. 
Well, we need it, so thank you, friend. Hunger. Plus one charisma, they look tasty. Or minus one. That's fine. That's fine. Probably not gonna get new friends anyways right now. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just happy to be alive, though now we have to RNG finding the witch. Or not witch, finding the the right place. So let's go. Witch in a forest. Uh, and uh, film crew, obviously a reference to Blair Witch. Uh, house high thicket, the trees so overhead block the sunlight, and you begin to feel gloomy. Reason down. Classic. You find a pile of human teeth lying by the nearby rock. Classic. Clearing. In the forest, you hear faint whimperings. In the distance, when you find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind legs in a bear trap. The dog grows menacingly as you get closer. Help him. Let chat failures. You free the dog, but the rusty mechanism stops and the trap closes on your hand. Yep, that's our run. <laughs> just just unlucky, man. It, ever since we sacrificed our luck, man. Maybe it's revenge for doing that. Find a uh, yeah, human teeth. Whatever. Hot. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of blades sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Bark woman. That's a pretty freaky design. Decent power, decent help, lots of damage. Pretty scary. We'll just do our strat though. 80? 80 for 4. I mean, this is just better if it hits. Okay. Well. She hit us. <laughs> Can't really do much about that. Let's hope this hits. Actually, I guess I dodged attack. Why am I not, like, cycling in preps and shit? Do it. Do it! You die at the beginning of your next encounter. Come on, dude. Never lucky. Whatever, 10 XP. I died. <laughs> Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health, weak, and you finally succumb to your injuries. Alone, as the dust settles upon your open eyes, the reality starts to crumble. Oh, God is ready to return once more. Well, at least we did a run. Dude, that run felt so unlucky to me. Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm just bad at the game. It's always a possibility. Difficulty level cultist. Cause of death, stamina loss, crypts. Kind of stuffed. We needed a better weapon. State knife's decent, but need a bit more. Yeah. In this run, you managed to solve three mysteries. Saw 27 new events, encountered eight new enemies. Lot two new achievements. Final lot. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Can't really do anything. I want to look at the extras. We have a bestiary. Can you actually look at them though? We just have the names. 16% done. Uh, ending encyclopedia. Stamina loss. Okay. We'll get, we'll get the dub soon. It's weird you can't actually look at what the events do, but it's fine. Achievements. Investigate 20 locations with a compass equipped. Meet a skull wraith in the haunting horridor. corridor. Unlocked seal of Brahma. Oh, it unlocked stuff. Unlocked map. Unlocked Ryuchi ally. Unlocked experiment dodge. Loose playthrough due to stamina loss. Okay. So there's a progression through achievements. I don't remember that actually no i could have just missed that i also kind of mod me you have to download them okay well well we'll save modding for later i think we're still pretty open i just want to look at we're not starting a new run i want to look at customized playthrough what does that mean base game contains all the cards you've unlocked through achievements more more students extended Uh, 
Okay, so I, I guess eventually, like this is basically you unlock different uh, card packs. So that you'll probably do a lot more later. I just wanted to look. Whoa. Okay, that's for seed. Yeah, I guess you could play the seed if you wanted to. Um, what I did. And probably beat it because I'm bad. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm glad we actually got a playthrough done. Um, even though we lost, at least, uh, at least I'm sad. I mean, it's a little salty, but like in a, in a gamer salty way. Not like the last time where it's just like unsatisfied way. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A lot of fun with it. And if you did... Again, uh, consider subscribing to get notifications on the next World of Horror since this is unscheduled. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Peace.